And now we'll give you two examples uh, with growth factor. Ex an exponential function has a growth factor of 1.09, which is a percentage growth rate. So growth factor, factor is important word here. It means A equal to 1.09. Growth rate is R, and you need to find R. Because it's growth factor, you need to use the formula A equal to 1 plus R. Now we will substitute 1.09 instead of A. We will subtract 1 from both sides and your R is 0 0.9, 0 0.09. This is our decimal. We need to change the decimal into the percent. We will multiply by 100%. So your R is equal to 9%. Now we will review the second example. Please pause the video and read the problem. So we know that in 2011, the population of Canada was 34.34 million people. And uh, the uh, growth rate was 1.1% per year. We need to find the exponential function n of t, where t is number of years since 2011. We'll write the exponential equation is n equal to p times a to the t power. p is initial value. Do we know the initial value? Yes. The initial value is 34.34. A is a factor. Do we know the factor in this problem? No. We need to find the factor, uh, but we know that a rate is equal to 1.1%. Don't forget to change percent into the decimal because uh, a factor is growth, we will use the formula A equal to 1 plus R. We will substitute 0 0.011 into the formula and we will calculate the factor. The factor is 1.011. Now we will substitute the initial value and the factor into the formula. Part B. Express using functional notation the population in Canada in 2015. Students like to complicate this question, um, and it's a pretty easy one. First of all, we have to find T since 2011. 2015 minus 2011 is equal to four years. And the functional notation is n of four. It means the population of Canada four years since 2011. Now we need to calculate this value. We need to substitute four for t and calculate. I calculated this already. So um, the answer is 35.87607. And when we, uh, we need to round our answer to two decimal places. So the final answer will be 35. 0.88 million people. Now we will review probably the hardest question 
uh, in this section. Use the function you found in part A to predict when the population of Canada will reach uh, 34.5 million. So the formula in part A was n equal to 34.34 times 1.011 to the t power. Um, we have 37.5 million, and we need to substitute this number into this equation. And students have uh, troubles to substitute this number in this equation. So here you have to think logically. N is your population. T is the time since 2011. So 37.5 million, is this population or it's time? Yes, it's a population, so we have to substitute it for n. This is an exponential equation because our variable t is an exponent. And to solve this equation, we have to have base, the base to the exponent by itself on one side. So we have to get rid of this 34.34. And we see that we have multiplication here. So we have to do opposite. Opposite of multiplication is division. So we have to divide both sides by 34. 34. When you divide these numbers, you have to keep as many decimal places as possible. So the result will be accurate. Now we have base to the exponent on one side and to solve this exponential equation you have to use a logarithm to both sides. So you see that uh, everything stays the same, except I put logarithm in front of, of each side. The next step, we will move our variable t in front of the logarithm. So the left side stays the same. On the right, we will have t times logarithm of 1.011. And now uh, we have a linear equation because a logarithm of a number is a number and again logarithm of a number is a number and we have a variable t and to have t by itself we have to divide both sides by a logarithm of 1.011 So here it will cancel out, so we will have t. Now we need to calculate on our calculator. So the logarithm button is right here. Logarithm 1.09 divide by a logarithm of 1.011 and the answer is 8.04669 oh, one more six and we need to round this to two decimal places so it will be 8.04 five years since 
2011. And this is a final answer.